everybody, it's Renee here. Thanks for coming to my channel. We are doing a small journal. Um, it's almost getting to the end, so it's a little bit lopsided here. But we are using the Craft Consortium Decoposh papers, and this one is uh, called Wildflowers. So I'm going to open it up, and we are going to take out some of these. And I am going to cover bits and pieces of these two pages, but not the whole thing. And what I cover mine with is Dina Wakeley's gel medium. It's a soft gel matte medium, and it's probably one of my favorites. So I'm just going to cut this into, or I should say rip, into smaller pieces. We might even rip it into some smaller pieces beyond that. So I have stuck this in there so it's all covered. Whatever, we're going to use a lot of this. So I gessoed my page first, or my pages. I didn't gesso the whole thing, but the areas I thought would be covered possibly by paint. So I always do that on all of my art journals and anything for the most part that I paint on just in the off chance that uh, I am going to do that because it saves time because gesso usually takes a little bit to dry and I don't tend to use my heat tool to dry things so there we go so now we're going to stick this down make sure you have it the right way because it is a directional and I'm going to layer it a little bit you could put it off the off the edge and just trim it or put it inwards a little bit. If I lay mine over the edge a little bit, I, that's okay with me. Uh, and I did put it right side by side. The main reason I did this with ripping it is in case there's any cracks and folds, I want the colors to be picked up by that with the paint. Okay, try and get as much air bubbles out as I can. You could use a brayer, I don't tend to. So, a little bit more on here. It's totally up to you. All right. And then I'm gonna put this one up here. All right. I, working in my art journal is probably <clears throat> one of my favorite things to do because you can do whatever you want. You're not usually dealing with pictures. I don't usually put pictures in my art journal. It's actually very rare that I've ever done that. But um, some people do and whatever works for you is good. But um, being a scrapbooker for as long as I have been, which is a long time, I have scrapbooked pretty much all of my pictures. Even my mother's pictures and uh, my grandparents' pictures. So um, yeah, I've scrapbooked a lot over the years. Having my own business, yeah, scrapbooked a lot. So there's not a whole lot left for me to scrapbook anymore and uh, my kids are grown, so I don't get a lot of pictures of them unless I go on their Snapchat or Instagram or they send me pictures. Those days of getting pictures of my children are kind of over. I'm sure many of you can totally relate. So I still make layouts in the store I work at. I make them for the store and I do sell them and I commission out work. So um, I do still scrapbook. There's the odd thing, I still scrapbook. But I tend to really like the mixed media and I really like art journals. So I've seen lots of friends who do different kinds of art journaling and it's not just like what I'm doing. And you know, honestly, anything that works for you, that's good. You know what you're creating and that's all anybody can ask for. You create, you do you, you do what makes you happy. And I think that's awesome. 
So I hope when you watch my videos, you get some inspiration. I'm not saying you have to copy me exactly, because even if you tried, it's not gonna be exactly the same because you have a different spin and a different take on things. So it's going to look different. Okay. All right, so we've got those on here. And if you're wondering why I'm putting the medium on top is to adhere it even further. And it dries clear, so you're not going to see it. It doesn't have a gloss. It's a matte medium, so you don't have to worry about that. I'm just trying to get as many bubbles out to make this as flat as possible, because sometimes you get bubbles in there and that's no fun. All right. There we go. So I'm gonna let that dry for a minute and then we're gonna come back and I'm gonna show you some more fun stuff. So while I was waiting for this to dry, the sun is starting to go down, so I guess I better hurry and get cracking. So what I'm going to do first is I am going to put some speckled egg distress paint on this. And you'll notice um, it isn't that shade, but I wanted something light. So I'm gonna put it directly on here And then I'm going to rub it on with our paintbrush. And I probably got way more than I could possibly need. This is runnier than I thought it would be. So that's okay. very runny so not sure why it's so runny but it is okay get some color in here like I said this is my small art journal so this isn't a big one, and uh, it's kind of fun using the small one. So I am going to, and I know normally you wouldn't do this, this is still wet, I am going to put some gesso over top, because I actually want the gesso to mix a little bit with this. So I'm going to put a light layer of gesso over top. I'm going to put the gesso over our printed image tissue. And then I'm going to show you what else I'm going to do. So, popping that on there. There we go. I'm going to go opposite grain, which I don't normally do, just for that. All right, so now I'm going to get out my brushes. And I'm looking for my sponge brush. And I apologize if you keep hearing banging. All my neighbors are getting new roofs right before the snow hits, so it's not a big surprise. So we're going to go over that lightly. Okay, so. so having the gesso, it kind of dilutes, I guess, or fades better choice of words maybe, um, our printed image on that tissue. But I also wanted our gesso then to be shaded so it's a light, light blue. So that is why I'm doing what I'm doing. dry for just a minute and then we are going to whitewash this. So now I'm using Paper Artsy's Fresco Finish Snowflake and you can see the translucent factor on there. I'm just going to put it on here. I'm going to show you just to, so you can kind of I guess tell with these paints. They're both a different shade of white but one is snowflake and one is chalk. 
and you can see the opacity of them. So one you can see through and one you can't. So when using Paper Artsy, that's something to always look for. So we're going to use our sponge brush again. And I love doing layers. So that's why I do the amount of colors I do. And I've got a couple little air bubbles in there, but that's OK. Not completely covering it up. We're just putting some layers over it. And the one thing I like about Paper Artsy Paints, which is what I'm using now, is they dry very fast. It's a chalk paint. And if you haven't seen me use these before, because I use them all the time, uh, they do dry very fast. So you can usually go from one step to the next almost instantly. Okay, and the whole reason I'm using this sponge is so I don't have any brush strokes with this right now. All right, so I'm going to let that dry for just a second and then we're going to come back and hurry and finish before we don't have any light. Okay, so while I was waiting for this to dry, I went on and I painted with some paints uh, on some white cardstock and then I drew some hearts around. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to stamp some sayings on here. Um, I actually might change that up. I might use this one here. Got this new one that I think I'm going to try. It's Kaiser Craft. So I'm going to try this one. And I am going to grab my archival ink. And we're going to put this on here before we even um, cut it up. So let's try that. And we don't want it to be like glaring in our face like massively. We just want to have a little bit of wording in here. So and it's okay to go off the edge because we uh, are cutting this out. So whatever works. I haven't used this one before. Okay. So now I'm going to cut out our hearts. And when this is on our page, I'm actually going to emphasize the hearts with our Stabilo All pencil. So cut around here. And this is just a very informal, fast, art journal page just to show you a way to do something different. Um, I guess these are slightly 80s looking, these hearts. Um, but you can do whatever you want. You can raise them on your journal page. You can have them flat. You can do whatever you want to do. So with these ones, I will probably put them flat just so my book doesn't get too big. And I will use the rest of this paper that I painted and stuff for my junk journal bits and pieces. So when you can, try not to let anything go to waste, whether that's your leftover paints or whatever just so it's not a waste for you and helps save you some money. Okay, so get that over there. So there's those. So with these, trying to do the rule of three, I'm gonna probably put them in here somehow, but we're going to do some stenciling first. So our first stencil we are going to do And I've done this technique a little bit before with um, sorry, thinking here, thinking, 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 um, with 
one of our other videos we just did recently. And that is using the Inky Pool. Inky Pool is my favorite color. It's very translucent. So I really like it. And with it, I usually use a sponge. Um, so I'm gonna do the sponge here. And I'm going to put a little bit of this. This is a, I believe this is Diane Reevely stencil. And I don't want it to look perfect. I'm just gonna let my paint kind of wear itself out. So there I go. And then I'm gonna do a little bit down in here. You wanna have kind of a whitewashed type of look. So, you know, our dry brush, I should say. So, that's what I'm kind of going for. And then I'll put one over here, off the edge. Okay, so there's that. And I love that look, it looks awesome. Partly because I love that color. All right. So we are going to use that like so. Um, what I'm going to probably do, and I love to do this, is with my Tim Holtz Distress Crayons, I am going to go around the edge with the crayon and just pull it in. And I think the color I want to do that with, pull up my blues and greens and purples and stuff. Um, Salvage patina would be kind of nice, but I'm thinking I might need something blue. What do you think, friends? Um, almost something along the lines of our inky pool. So what is the closest thing to that? There's not a lot from Tim Holtz. Probably the closest is the chip sapphire. So maybe let's try the chip sapphire. And this was a newer release that just came out that not that long ago with the three from Tim Holtz. So what I'm going to do is just go around the outside edge like so. And I love this look and you'll probably see this a lot on my art journals. So I'm going to go around like that. There we go. And now I'm going to get my finger wet and move it. go and now with my tissue I'm just gonna blot it a little bit okay and now I'm gonna put a little bit of the inky pool on my finger I love how this works into the paper it's awesome such a gorgeous color if I said that today. <laughs> I love this color. I probably have four bottles of it just in case I can't get it again. Yeah. If you like the fresco finish, Scrap and Bean in Edmonton and Short Park has it. You can check out their link. They ship um, North America for sure. I'm not sure about worldwide, but uh, their link is Scrap and Bean dot com and it's Canadian so if you're an American you're saving money by shopping there so check it out all right loving it love it okay get a little bit of white all right so that's that 
Now I've got paint all over my hands. I'm in desperate need of a wash now. Okay, so now we're going to put our hearts on and uh, we can use the gel matte medium for that. Sun's going down, so I gotta hurry. Okay, so I'm gonna put this one over here and I'm going to put more underneath and then over top. And you can do that because we stamped with an archival ink. Our uh, Stabilo All Pen could wipe off, but you just have to be careful so it doesn't smudge. But we're going to, with our, um, our pencil again, I'm going to go around the heart anyway. So it smudges a little bit. It's not the end of the world. Okay, so there's that. And then we gotta put these ones down. And I tend to usually put the medium, the gel matte medium, on the back before I put it down, but you don't have to. You could put it right there, but I don't tend to do that. So I'm gonna put this one up here. Yeah, so. And we can put a sentiment as well. I'll probably stamp a sentiment this time. So I will probably stamp that. I think the last time I used the Dean Wakely tissue, but I am going to stamp one today. Okay. And we're gonna pop that on there. go. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, so I'm going to hold that like that for a minute. And we're going to let that dry. And then we're going to use our Stabilo pencil. And then we are going to put um, our sentiment on here. So we're doing that next. So I went around the outside edges with my Stabilo All Pencil. And these work great, so I just went around and I outlined it. And the next thing I'm going to do is just put a title on here or a thing. And I'm using the Amy Tangerine Stamps. This is Document. And they're a little bit bigger than what I plan to use, but it's all good. And we use Archival Ink in Jet Black. And I don't want this to be perfect. It does not have to be perfect. If it's not totally inked up, it's all good. So I'm gonna put a B. So that works for me. And if it's not totally lined up, I'm okay with that too. B, C, and I love that look too. I'm not all about the perfect. Loving it. Any idea what it's saying? Um, oh, weird. You know, I just noticed there's no V. I have two U's. What the heck is up with that? Well, that is just wonky. Amy Tangerine. I don't have a V. <laughs> um, hmm. Well, now I was going to tell you my word is going to be devoted, but I don't have a V. Um, you know what? I'm going to do my Stabilo All, and I'm going to do just a random V. <laughs> so this is as random as it gets. Okay, so there's that. I'm going to have to try and figure this out why I don't have a V. I have two U's. Weird. Okay, devoted, I 
I've never used that before. So I've never used the V, clearly. So I didn't notice that that wasn't there. That is just too weird. Okay, so be devoted. And I am going to put... Uh, hmm, what else can we put in there? I'm going to put, and this is just for me, I'm going to put a B here, and I am going to put an L, which are my children's initials. I put my, my oldest child down there because he's the big one, and my little child there because she's the little one. So, and then just trying to remind myself, but I mean, I'm devoted to my children, and they know that, but there we go. I kind of like that. So this is our two-page mini journal layout, and you could really do whatever you want. We could put a little something something in there too because it's not finished. Um, you could even put more of the stencil in there, and we could still go back and do that. But this is just a little something to kind of get your juices flowing and show you some things you can do. It doesn't take long. Just play around, do the things that make you happy, and have fun. So, you know, again, it's just paper. So if you don't like it, rip it out. I hope you enjoyed this. Don't forget to like my, my pages um, and my videos if you like them. And make sure you subscribe and hit that bell notification so you get my videos as soon as they come out. I also have links in the uh, description down below for you to check out my Instagram and my blog and my Facebook page. On the 20th of every month, I have giveaways for people who comment on my videos or subscribe. So check that out as well. So thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. There's lots more coming. Have an awesome day and stay safe.